Hi everyone, I'm bringing you the next episode of my Evolution Solution series, where I compare an unevolved Pokemon with its evolutionary counterpart. To get more of a feel for this series, you can check out my first ever episode of this here. Today I want to talk about Evilite Togetic and Togekiss. Let us start off with Evilite Togetic. In Generation 6, the Togepi now were blessed with a fairy typing. Togetic evolves from Togepi when leveled up with high friendship. Isn't that just so cute? Togetic has a dual typing of fairy and flying, which means it's weak to poison, rock, steel, electric, and ice, whilst being immune to both ground and dragon. It also has a quarter resistance to fighting and bug, which is amazing, whilst also resisting grass and dark. Prior to generation 6, when it didn't have the fairy typing, it was only weak to rock, electric, and ice, and was immune to ghost and ground and it only resisted bug and grass. What that means is with the new fairy typing, although it has more weaknesses, it has way more resistances, with two of them being quarter resistances, and it also resists dark, which is a pretty good trade-off in my opinion. Togetic's stats aren't to be sniffed out either, it already has bulky defences and special defences, but with Eviolite it just gets better. When looking at the Togepi line's abilities, there's not so much of a comparison as they all share the same abilities. One of the primary abilities is Hustle, Hustle increases the user's attack by 50%, but lowers the accuracy of the user's physical moves by 20%. Special moves and status moves are unaffected by Hustle, so it's not very useful. The second ability the Togepi line can possess is Serene Grace. Serene Grace will double the chance of a move having an additional effect. For example, Psychic will have a 20% chance of lowering the target's special defense, instead of its usual 10% chance, or the infamous 10% flinch chance due to King's Rock or Razor Fang being doubled to 20%. Serene Grace has no effect on status moves however, but moves like Air Slash with King's Rock has no additional effect as many people have trialed this already and the King's Rock only adds to a flinch chance if a move that you've used doesn't cause you to flinch usually, but I'll talk more about this later on. Air Slash usually has a 30% chance of causing you to flinch which is doubled to 60%, when coupled with the Swing Grace ability. Again, this will be touched upon later on in this video. The hidden ability of the Togepi line is Super Luck, which increases the critical hit ratio by one stage. In my personal opinion, the only useful abilities are Serene Grace and Super Luck, but I think I'd prefer Serene Grace for Togetic. With its stats and added bulk, you're not going to make a very good sweeper, but more of a defensive tank. So Super Luck won't benefit it as much. However, it can be argued if you invest no EVs in special attack and you choose to go for a damage dealing move, it allows Togetic to be defensive while still packing a punch. Now let's get into Togetic's potential movesets. Now straight off the bat, a few things that are disadvantageous for opting for Evil Light Togetic is that it won't have access to Air Slash. So the only way it'll make good use of its Serene Grace ability is if you opt for moves like Shadow Ball and Psychic. And if I'm completely honest, Psychic is probably the best move to go for to cover your poison weakness. Shadow Ball, although a very good move, isn't the best move to use for Togetic, especially if you want to be a defensive tank. Evilite Togetic is just a bulkier Togekiss and is a perfect support Pokemon. If I were to choose an Evilite Togetic, this is probably the move that I'd go for. Follow me because it's the bread and butter for these set of Pokemon. Thunder Waves for the Parahax, Tailwind, just cause, and Uncle. I'd probably give it the calm nature to increase its special defense and lower its attack because you're not going to use a physical attacking move anyway. Its EV spread can be max HP, max special defense, and the rest can go to physical defense. You can go for a lot of gimmicky stuff with this set. You can start off with follow me, allow your ally in doubles to set up, or if you're predicting to be outsped, no worries, E to hit, set up Tailwind for your entire team. And if you want to be extra cool, you can opt for Thunder Wave or Parahax and slowing your opponent down even further. Alternatively, you can go with the following set. Again, as a very good support mon with the following EV spread, 252 in special defense, 252 in special attack, the rest in HP, you can opt for the calm or bold nature, you can go for nasty plot to increase your special attack by two stages, toxic, so if Togetic happens to be the last Pokemon on the field, you can use this for more of a stall game, roost which is pretty self explanatory, it just adds to your bulk, and finally baton pass, mainly for the setup, so you can set up a nasty plot or two, baton pass into a very bulky special attacker and wreak havoc. You can go for Heal Bell over Roost to be a healer of your team. An interesting thing about Roost is Roost restores half of the user's maximum HP. If the user is a flying type, it will lose its flying typing, thus being created as a single type Pokemon until the next turn. 
If a non-flying type uses Roost, it has no side effects. If a pure flying type Pokemon uses Roost, it will become a normal type until the end of the next turn. But for Togetic, it'll just lose its flying typing, which can be both a blessing and a curse. It'll mean Togetic will lose its electric, ice and rock weakness, but also its immunity to ground, which is probably the best offensive typing in the metagame. However, you can use it strategically to eat those otherwise super effective hits as one times effective. With the added buff with Eve Light, you'll be laughing. You do only lose your flying typing for one turn, so use it wisely. Using your item slot on Eve Light, in my opinion, is a very good sacrifice, mainly because Eve Light Togetic isn't meant to be on the field for too long. It can be used for a couple of turns, switch out, make a return, and foil your opponent's strategy completely. It can be used as a supportive healer if your other allies are shut down with status conditions. You can surprise your enemy mid game by setting up a turn pass, or, you know, go for the para hacks. You can go for anything quite literally keep your opponent guessing. Moving on to Togekiss. So Togekiss evolves from Togetic when exposed to a Dawnstone. It shares the same typing as Togetic so we don't need to discuss that nor its abilities as they also remain the same so let's take flight and hop onto Togekiss's stats. Togekiss has a very good special attack stat and a very good special defense stat with a decent physical defense and HP stat too. I kind of like that its attack is low because well it's not going to use it anyway and it'll make good use of natures that decrease its attack but raises either its special attack or defenses. Its 80 speed base stat is pretty respectable too. If you opt for a choice scarf you can outspeed 130 base stat Pokemon or if you invest in max speed you're going to be a pretty good sweeper. It goes without saying the only ability to opt for is Serene Grace for Togekiss. It is one of the very few Pokemon who can competitively make use of this ability really well. It's just so freaking awesome. Remember when I said I'll talk more about the Air Slash King's Rock combo? And the King's Rock only adds to a flinch chance if a move that you've used doesn't cause you to flinch hugely, but I'll talk more about this later on. Well, Togekiss plus Serene Grace plus King's Rock does not equate to more of a flinch chance. Even on Bulbapedia, it describes the King's Rock having a 10% chance of causing the target to flinch when using a move that deals damage but does not already have a chance to flinch, which means it won't work for Air Slash, it will still remain at 60% with the Serene Grace ability, it won't be whatever people have been saying like 100% flinch chance, that's just ridiculous. But holy guacamole, imagine a Chinchino with Bullet Seed holding King's Rock, you may as well quit now. Anyway, back on topic. No, King's Rock is not suited for Togekiss's playstyle. One of the advantages Togekiss has over Togetic is the versatility to opt for some very good items to assist it in battling. You can opt for the sharp beak to increase the damage of flying type moves to try and one hit KO as much as you can or two hit KO neutral damage. Lefties if you decide you want to be a bit tankier. A lumberry to cure any status conditions which adds a lot more dimension to your playstyle. You can go for like a resto not so chesto set or if you've been inflicted by a volatile status condition you're free from that too. Togekiss with choice scarf having the swing grace ability with a modest nature. Invest its EVs as followed. 252 in special attack 252 in speed and 4 in HP. Opt for Air Slash because as I just said, Air Slash plus Flinch Hacks is freaking amazing. Flamethrower which is good coverage and it also covers your steel weakness. Trick just to add to the gimmickry and Thunder Wave for Para Hacks. Para Flinch Hacks for the win I say. With a 60% chance to flinch with Air Slash you can do whatever the hell you want. The beauty of this set is that it's good for both singles and doubles. You can start off with Air Slash, get a bit of damage and if you really want it you can use Trick. The only thing shutting Togekiss down with this set are priority moves. It'll be absolutely crippled by Bullet Punch. <sighs> One of my own personal favourite sets that I use in competitive battling is as followed. The Eevees would be 252 in special attack, 252 in speed and 4 in special defence. With the modest nature of course and the swing grace ability, I opted for Air Slash, Flamethrower, Psychic and Roost. The only difference is that I've opted for Psychic over Thunder Wave just because it covers your poison weakness. This Togekiss was one to trade to me with perfect IVs and it originally had Thunder Wave over Psychic, but because I already had a Parahax Mon, I decided to go for Psychic to cover for Togekiss's poison weakness, as all I seem to run into nowadays are poison type moves or poison Pokemon. I gave it the Sharp Beak to boost flying type attacks with the extra stab, which meant Togekiss really posed a threat to many other Pokemon. You can opt for Aura Sphere, which ignores evasion, Dazzling Gleam to hit both opponents in doubles, and of course Hidden Power, Rock or Ground which I personally wouldn't use but it's certainly an option you can consider. A third option worth considering is Togekiss with leftovers and of course the Swing Grace ability. Invest 252 in HP, 208 in defense and 48 in special defense. And the moves to opt for are Thunder Wave, Air Slash, Roost and Aura Sphere. 
and even distribution can work really well. The main things you have to worry about are mainly special attacks like Ice Beam, Thunderbolt and Sludge Bomb. There are a few physical moves like Rock Slide and Poison Jab that may pose a threat, so spreading out the EVs as such may help add some sustenance to your Togekiss's bulk. All in all, I feel if you want an offensive sweeper or a Pokemon who will shine in single battles and do well in doubles as well, go for Togekiss. It has a right amount of bulk and with the correct EV spread can be quite a threat. If you want a defensive, assistive, supportive tank, opt for Togetic. Its Eve Light will help it survive a few turns, coupled with a few shenanigans like Follow Me and Roost will assist in setting up, though I find very little usage in Togetic in singles if I'm completely honest. Also, the edge that Togekiss has over Togetic is that it makes use of its Serene Grace ability a bit better due to having access to Air Slash. Both Pokemon have access to Morning Sun, which is pretty cool to restore more health, but Roost would probably benefit both of them better as it doesn't rely on weather conditions and it's an added gimmick losing its flying typing for a turn meaning you'd eat those otherwise super effective hits. If it were up to me, I'd definitely go with Togekiss. The main reason I say this is because I have so many supportive tanks on my team who do such a perfect job and Togetic will have a hard time competing with that. Pokemon like Gothitelle, Reunucleus, Clefable, Aromatease, Dusclops and Murkrow. They all do a better job than Togetic, but Togekiss in doubles can be quite a threat. Thank you everyone for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which Pokemon you prefer. Do you agree with my suggested movesets? Do you think there is a better set? Remember to like my video as that will really really help me out and also subscribe for more content as well as following me on Twitter, Instagram and Pokemon Amino for daily updates. Also be sure to comment which Pokemon you'd like to see discussed in my next episode of my Evolution Solution series. But until next time...